Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back at Balea Bay, and yes, I am feeling quite a bit better today, guys. I am feeling quite a bit better, and I am back here because, well, I really just want to keep checking out some of the things that I can do here. And I have been spending quite a bit of time setting up my gear to try to best fish this location. Now, we're just going fishing, guys, at this particular time. I'm not really, you know, mastered at anything just yet because this is still a very new lake for me. So as we do things, I'm taking people's advice, listening to people uh, as far as where good locations to fish are, things like that. And, well, this is not exactly the best time of day to fish anyway. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. It's... A sunny day they're probably not gonna be biting as much but we're gonna at least get set up if nothing else but before I do that I did promise uh, one of my viewers he's like uh, what kind of gear are you using at this moment well let me go ahead and explain to you this is this is a level 12 lake so there's gonna be some pretty decent sized fish in here there's a lot of chub especially over here in this area I have been catching them like left and right I've been informed that grasshoppers are very popular with the chubs. Now the chubs are also real fond of just about everything, you know, maggots and whatnot. But I want to test that out over here, see how well we do with the chubs. Now with these guys, it doesn't really matter, you know, what the poundage is so much. I've got 16 pound, that may be a little on the heavy side. It may I could even take that down some. But I'm using my Adriatica Fishing Express reel. I'm using um, my Palmer FD120. Uh, this here is important. These little pyramid sinkers. Uh, I was given the advice that these are probably the best to use if you're fishing here or someplace like the Winding Rivulet where there is a definite current. This kind of sticks down in the rocks and doesn't move. It, so it keeps your uh, your bait put also it's a good idea to have a pretty decent leader on here now I'm using nylon that's kind of risky right now because there are pike here and believe me pike can bite right through a nylon leader but there's also a lot of trout and a lot of other species here that will see that leader and get scared by it so I'm gonna stick with that if I lose it I lose it but that's up to you you can go ahead and use a steel leader if you wish but I'm using a, an S6 hook here because, like I said, I'm after chubs for this particular feeder rod. And I'm just going to toss this right over there. I don't know if you can see. There's like this little cove in between those grasses. I have been pulling a lot of chubs out of there. So I'm going to set that down right there. I don't expect to get a whole lot right at the moment, which is kind of good since I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but it is in the afternoon. Now on my other feeder rod, this is also a Palmer uh, 120, and I'm gonna put a night crawl on this. I've got my best reel on here, my Express Fishing Pride. Now for this, I didn't spare any expense. I put Snake Ultra Line on here. I've got 16.5 pound. That sounds heavy, but from what I understand, some of the ones I'm going after out there may get close to that, so we're going to see what we can do. Another pyramid sinker. Oh, and by the way, I would go with at least 70 grams for this current. Now, for the winding river, you could probably go with a little less, but here, 70 grams. This current is strong. Uh, down here, I've got uh, an F-carbon leader. Again, nylon or fluorocarbon. And I got an S2 hook which is kind of almost my go-to for when I'm fishing for um, bigger fish, especially like uh, uh, burbot and whatnot. I mean, I could go with a bigger hook, but I think right here that should be sufficient. But I really wouldn't go bigger than a one. Uh, one out might be a little bit too big. And wait a minute, let me get back to my third rod here. Now, if you look on the map here, guys, there's that hole that I've spoke out of in the past. This is 6.5 meters deep. Now, that's where you want to throw this particular feeder. If you're wanting the big guys, 
You need to throw it right out there. And let it sink. I don't know. I didn't see the splash, so I don't know if I went too far or not, but that's why you need to every now and then come by and just kind of tap on it, maybe move it a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and close the bale there. And we're going to go ahead and set that on the ground as well. And let's get it set up so that it jingles. Okay, now there's so many things that can go after that. Not just verbit, but the world-renowned taman can go after that. And I have not seen a taman yet. Brown trout. Uh, if you're going to go for the brown trout, I would suggest using uh, mayfly larvae or mayflies. They will go for other things, but they seem to like those the most. Right now, we're just going to see what we can do in regards to maybe burbot or something. But anyway, here is my spinning rod, and this is my Express Fishing Heavy, if I'm not mistaken, yes, S80XH. It's my favorite rod. I've got an Adriatica Express Fishing Reel on it. I've got Snake Power Carbon line on it. That, Like, again, this is a good line. 15-pound uh, test for this area. That's just about what we need. What I like about it is the fish can't see this line. So if I'm going to go for brown trout, I'm going to head for this. I also have the Simmons Mono 15-pound fluorocarbon, or nylon leader. I'm sorry, not fluorocarbon. Now, the big thing here is, guys, I've got this Karuna Hunter 1-001. I'm wanting to test this out and some of the other hunters because I've been told that the hunters do very well here. And I will tell you this, this hunter is a killer at the Winding Rivulet. And I will do an episode in the near future to just to show you how well it works. But this thing, the Xander just can't stay off of it. Now I think there are, if I'm not mistaken, there are Xander here too. So we might get us a Xander, who knows. But I will tell you guys, I am going to be next week probably not able to do too many videos because I'm having surgery. But in the future, I'm going to try my darndest to get out at least two episodes of Russian Fishing 4. I'd like to try to get one out either on, well, on Mondays and maybe on Thursdays. At least one on Mondays, one on Thursdays. So... I might, you know, miss a day or t miss a day or be a little bit late, but that's what I'm shooting for. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit better schedule going with my channel as well, so you can know when to expect these. But anyway, let's see just how well this is doing. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm actually kind of stalling for time, so that it can get a little bit later in the afternoon, and we might have a little bit more luck. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and set our retrieval speed. 20 is good. 20 seems to work well here. Sometimes 30, if things get a, seem like they're not doing much, try 30 and it might do well. And you can also switch over and put it on a 12 and do a stop and go and sometimes that works too. But right now we're going to go with this. This is my go-to. And let's see what we can scare up here, guys. Maybe something out there will be interested in this. You never know. But I don't expect to see the feeders do much until as it gets later. But we're just going to do a jig step here. Hopefully we'll get us. There we go. Hopefully we'll get us a jig step. Now this doesn't seem too big. I'm guessing probably a perch. No, no, it's an asp. It's an asp. Ooh, what's happy hour? This is happy hour? <laughs> well, that's cool. I'll take that bonus. Huh, I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure what that what it's about. But yeah, this, I really like this lure. I was playing with it on Winding River the other day, and I was just killing the Xander. 
as you notice I am a level 18 now finally and it's pretty much because of this particular lure there's another lure that's really good to use too and that's the it's another hunter and it's got brown it's kinda like a well, I'll have to show you <laughs> I can't explain it looks like a perch to me like they've colored them like the with their stripes and whatnot yeah we're getting a good jig step so we know we're doing the move right not just one reel at a time nice and slow and if they're interested they'll they'll latch on but again like I said this is kinda early if you're gonna get the trout my understanding is they bite best in the late evening maybe very early morning dusk dawn and it's kinda touch and go on cloudy days I'm not sure exactly but they are in those deep holes the deep holes and the deep channels but I am dead set on catching one today but you're not going to come, I will tell you honestly, you're not going to come out here and throw your line out and catch one right after another you're going to catch most of the you know regular fare for the most part I'll throw it this way. Let the, let the current work for me here. Anyway guys, I'm going to sit here and do this. If anything happens, I'll bring you back so you're not just sitting here falling asleep. <laughs> but, sounds like I've got some activity going on one of my feeders. I think it's this one. I heard a jingle. Not sure if he's serious or not. Well, hmm. Maybe not so serious. Yeah, I was just doing a little bit of stop and go here just to see if... That will change anything. There we go. Oh. Okay, we don't have a snag, do we? Uh, we might have us a snag. Hold on, guys. Let me see here. Yep, I think we got caught up on the rock. So let's come over here. Okay, we got it. It's like never panic when you get one of those. Just kind of walk around, try to find out. Okay, he is definitely on there. All right, let's see what we got here. This guy's been messing around with this for quite a while now. That's a little chub, but yeah, they really do like these. The thing is, these grasshoppers, one of them told, can get some pretty big chubs, and I'm really wanting to get 
to break my record on the chub, which is, I believe, a little bit over two kilograms. So, I'm going to keep at it until I do beat it. Yeah, it's getting later in the day, so we're going to go back to this regular retrieval speed. Let me trap this way. This time. We have got something big this time. There. As soon as it starts to get to be dusk, something latched onto this, and it means business. If we can just keep it on here. Ooh, he is giving me a good fight, too. Let's see what he is here, guys. Let's see what he is. All right, now that's a nice chub. That's a real nice chub. Wow, that XP bonus happy hour is awesome. But yeah, he's 1.609 kilograms. That's not bad. Yeah, I might get a picture of him. He's kind of he's kind of pretty. I like him. All right. Now that they're biting. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Sun's starting to go down. This, whoa. Okay, we've got business going on over here, too. As soon as that sun starts to go down, I tell you. That's when they really start biting. I like the cloudy days because then they kind of, especially if it's cold, the bottom fishing seems to really do well. Ooh, wow. Now that's a nice bream. <laughs> 1.626. Yeah, that is a nice bream. Very nice, very nice. Get a picture of you too. All right, now let's throw another one out there, and I'm not going to throw it way out there. I'm going to throw it right on the edge of that hole. Yes, I did not. I don't want to close the bell just yet. I wanted it to sink just a little bit and as that temperature drops our chances of getting the burbot go up now I'm not so sure we're going to do much with this now it's kind of dark but we'll see they can see it a little better than most I have brought in fish off of this lure at night but like I said, it's a little harder since it's so dark. It's getting cloudy. I'm thinking we're going to have a storm here coming. Something decent's coming out of here, and it is any chub territory. So let's see if we got us another chub here. Yep. We'll keep him. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my bait here, though. Instead of chubs, we're going to go after... Oh, man, I'm out of mayflies. Not cool. Not cool. Because sometimes they don't have them in stock. It's not good. Oh, that's a grocery store. <laughs> okay, please, please, please let them be in stock. Please, please, please. Yes. Mayfly larvae. Huh. Yeah, they run out of stock really, really quick. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out for some trout in the early morning. Let's see if we can't get us decent sized trout. Okay, and 
again. We're going to throw that way out there. Looks like we're going to get some rain here. Okay, that's a little deep. I mean, far out. So it should... Let me check here. Yeah, it's in the hole. That's in the hole. We should be good. We should be good. Alright guys, it looks like I have got something kind of big. I came down to the south gate. Just doing a little bit of casting with this hunter. And I have latched onto something pretty decent size. Might... I think it might be a chub. No, it's a good size ass though. I'm getting a lot of those today for some reason. It's pretty weird. Awesome. There we go. Let's try that again because that was... But let me show you where I'm located. I'm down here at the very tip. And see anywhere along here this channel it's pretty deep. Not as deep as this, the hole right here but if you cast into that channel it's, for me I've I had some people say it's better to cast to the right. I have a bit more luck casting to the left. Pull, uh, reeling against the stream so or the current so let's try this again I'm gonna throw it right over there by that rock and we'll try this for a little bit we might go down to the other end of the island and see if anything's going on down there uh-oh Yep, I hear something. Yeah, I better put that down right now because if I can hear it all the way over here, I forgot about the feeder rods. But I hear a jingle and lots of it. <laughs> all right, let's see. Hopefully he didn't get off of there. Oh gosh, this is a big fish. Okay, we got us a big one, guys. I think we might have us a bit of a fight, and this isn't... Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. This is a tame it. Well, this thing's going to spool me. What in the world have I got on here? Okay. Oh, come on. I've got to get some of this line in, guys. He got away. He got away. Son of a gun. He got away. He was... Whatever he was, he was big. Okay, what have I got on here? Yeah, see, I've got 16 pound, but... I've got some ultra line clear here. Thing is, it's monoline. Well, let's try the 22 pound. At least it's. Yeah, I know it's a little on the heavy side. I'll just have to be very careful. But now this should have enough. line that that happens again he ain't gonna spool me he's gonna have 350 meters to work with okay looks like we got another bite off this one again okay this is nothing like what I had on there a little while ago but still let's see what we got here
Oh. Eh, not bad. It's common roach. Okay, let's make sure that gets out nice and deep. Yeah, I thought I'd come over here and give my perch colored hunter a little bit of a try for a while. I think I also might try my silver dragon stream. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Yeah, the lures that seem to do really well here is are th this type of hunter. Uh, the 13 or the 26 right there I've caught a few off of this but not too many they seem to go for the blue and the perch color this is what I call perch color which is what I have out there right now uh, as far as the spinners the uh, dragonfly streams do very well any of them instantly Honestly, but Dua says that he has the most luck with this one, the 4-002, it's 7.03 grams. I almost caught a big fish on that, but he, had, he bit through the leader. That's a good one to try, so we might try that here just in a minute. After I go check the feeder rod again. <laughs> What is going on? This thing is really popular right now. Alright, let's get this thing in here. Okay, it's a little bigger than that roach I caught. That's another roach. Just a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, seems like they're really biting today. Let's pull it. Let's pull it in a, a little bit more. I think we might have it a little too close to shore. And rain's back again. It's been doing that off and on this whole time. According to Dua, you stand next to the hole and throw out as far as you can. That's eh, not very far. And do a slow retrieve. So that's probably around 12 or 11. You Stand a good chance of getting a brown trap. Well, or you can go back to the feeder rod. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, this one's a little more healthy. Yeah, they're definitely after those mayfly larvae. Okay, he is, he's got some oomph to him. Put a little bit more tension on here. Not too much. There we go, guys. Success. Success. We have caught our goal right there, guys. And he's a nice one. 4,118 points. Oh, he is pretty. He is a pretty, pretty fish. Get a picture of him for sure. Yes, he is, he is beautiful. That's what I wanted, guys. Ha-ha! <laughs> I love it. Yep, I am going to keep him. That's for sure. 
Actually, I might get another picture of him. He's just that darn pretty. All right. We have successfully caught a brown trout. We did it with feeder fishing. And we did it... Yeah, I had it. I may have had it too close to the shore over there. I'm going to bring... I don't know if you can see the line, but I think it needs to be right about there. But yep, yeah, we got our goal. And the next goal will be the, at least one tame in here. I want to go ahead and bring this in and we'll go check and see what kind of cash he brings in. My understanding is they bring pretty good cash, so... Alright guys, looks like we got another one on the feeder rod again. Mayflies. Why can't I put this away? There it goes. Alright, let's see what we got here. This might be a good good point to end this so let's see what we got another large common roach all right let's keep him let's go over here and see what we can get cash wise well first let's check the cafe always check the cafe guys Let's see. I didn't get a big enough bream. Didn't get the right size common roach. Haven't gotten any sander, which is kind of odd. I usually get a zan at least a few sander. Nope, doesn't look like I got anything that they want. So let's go over here and sell these guys at the fish market. Let's see. Look at that. 11.01. .01. Not bad. And he's not even that big. But yeah, these the roaches are bringing in almost four silver here. There's two for that one. This chub was 7.09. Not too bad, guys. 34 silver. Boom. There you go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That was a lot of fun, and I was so glad I finally got my brown trout. But anyway, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.